early rises, so I'm up usually like seven o'clock, stuff around a bit, and then um, Egg of the Universe, like our favourite cafe is just up the road there, so we just cruise up there, it's like 50 metres away. Cruise up there and then have brekkie and then Elisa ducks off to work and I might do a bit of study or take him for a, like, a bit of a walk around the block, get going. Mate's got a brand, Friday Fox, um, up on the sunny coast there, so a few of his hats, a couple of Brixton hats there as well. Just whip this up out of an old pallet actually. <laughs> Got the old record player which you picked up, which is a is a great piece to have at home. You don't find too many like this anymore. So we whip her out all the time. Whacking it's got the crackle on it. I reckon we got it. Oh, Lisa bought it for our anniversary. It yeah, got it on Gumtree for like 150 bucks. Yeah. I mean, living in Roselle with uh, obviously you've had a couple of bikes that sort of live around that area on the Monday show. Um, so we've got heaps of people around there, so there's always something to do. I pretty much just walk everywhere because of where I am, just on, right on Darling Street pretty much. We're a pretty tight group, to be honest. Um, at any time, you can sort of just ring someone and, and it's easy. Um, it's like a big family, so, and especially with where we, where we all sort of live in that. A fair few of us there in Balmain and Roselle. And the other boys like Johnny and Cogs just sort of moved to the inner west in Alexandria. <laughs> Which is good as well, so they've come on sort of that side of left the east and come over that way. No, nah, they'll actually hate that I've said that. But <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because obviously Wardy and I were drafted at the same time and um, however it is, everyone's journey is different. Injuries and stuff like that. And Wardy's been so resilient, he's coming up to his 200th and I'm just coming up to my 50th. I don't want to jinx anything yet, so I'll touch wood. Those sort of games, there was only like 14,000 there, but they were going off. So they couldn't even hear the whistle half the time. St Kilda fans were, yeah, going off. I mean, they beat us last year by five goals, whatever it was down there, I think around seven. Um, so we knew they were, we knew how, like, it's kind of like they know how to play against us a little bit, but it was pretty disappointing. I mean, they had, I think we did all right with the amount of inside 50s they had. Every time we went inside 50, we scored, sort of. Um, we obviously don't have our kicking boots on at the minute. <laughs> but yeah, it was sort of, I haven't watched the game. Usually I'd watch it after, after the game, but my record button didn't work on me bloody Fox up. I think we got out to a 19 point lead with 10 minutes to go. So it's pretty disappointing that we give that up and had a third draw in two years. I don't know what, what the stat is there, but I mean, it was what, around 13 and 14 last year, so it's probably less in like <laughs> third draw in 20 games. It's a bit ridiculous. Yeah, a lot of blokes try and get away, but I don't, I don't know if it was that I had a couple of years. Obviously, I coached for a couple of years, so um, I found a, a new love for the game, and I honestly, or maybe I appreciate it more. Um, and I actually love my job. It is, like, it is my job, and it's unbelievable. So I love watching it and doing a little bit of research. Obviously, we played Brisbane this week, so. Um, I wanted to watch a little bit of that. Well, when I was playing my best footy was sort of when I was when I was coaching, and I'm actually just loving playing. Like I, like I said before, I sort of found a new appreciation, and I'm just so grateful that um, I sort of had like a, a second opportunity to come back in and and play in such a good team. I'll tell you what helps is having a uh, fiance that's an osteopath. <laughs> Um, that does cranial and stuff like that. So she's, uh, I'll get treated probably at home three times a week, go to bed. Um, so she'll treat me, she'll treat me at home, which helps a lot with our, our own cover and, and getting the body going again. And I, I, I like to explore with different foods and stuff that have um, natural ways of sort of helping the body recover and anti-inflammatory foods and stuff like that instead of instead of taking the tablets which used to pump out they just sort of hide it hide the pain you're going through and then eventually it'll come back so um, I've changed all the, a few things in my diet and stuff like that I think and that's probably all down to legal as well so um, yeah it's helped having her up here which is good yeah we'll do the review today and then the club's pretty good like that. We, we sort of move on pretty much straight away. We'll, do a, we'll show some more stuff tomorrow. Um, more in lines or on, on the defense side of things. Maybe some learning stuff. And then she's pretty much straight into 
heading into Brisbane this week. Yeah, can't wait. Finally, finally back there around six, but um, we've been on the road a fair bit at the minute, so it'd be good to it'd be good to play at home. And we love playing there as well, so hopefully we get a good turnout and the weather's good. I had a quick look this morning and it looks like there's a little bit of rain there, but hopefully that goes away. I just like, watching, like looking at the weather because it's so good up here all the time. So <laughs> look in the morning, you used to Melbourne, you look in the morning and then you got to pack for every sort of weather if you're going to be out for the whole day. So I actually had a jumper on this morning when I walked up to the cafe and took that straight off. The sun was beaming down on us.